Somebody? At this point, I'd love to give an answer. I mean, at this point, I can't give an answer of saying yes. But, well, before the project gets on the foot and you hear approved plans, somebody's got somebody's got to get it. Only smart to just find out. Before, before I, I just, real quick, George. I don't think the DEC would accept that. Would the DEC accept that that project closed off that part of the creek or made it so? Right now, it's 20, 30, 40 feet in that area. So if that type of condition happened, where all of a sudden it was shallow over there and boats couldn't go by, I don't think the DEC would find that acceptable. You know, it's not, if it started causing filling, it would call it a violation. Right. So at least on that side of the island, those types of concerns with that car, with the current project, I don't, I don't think that would be an issue. So. I'm going to call on uh, our assemblyman Alan myself. Alan, you're the you chairman know. of waterways and <laughs> what have you. Will you, will you assume authority over this? Well, as the chairman of the uh, commission on uh, solid waste. I think that's outside of my uh, my uh, pay grade, but uh, that is a concern. And uh, you know, there's no community in the state of New York that is more closely identified with its community and its resources. And I suspect that if anything happens, the people in Garrison Beach will know before anybody. And because of that, the elected officials, all of us, will do everything we can to make sure that the state officials responsible for it will take care of it. Now, I don't know, um, making the violation, I'm not sure what that means. What do you have, if it's a violation, who is responsible for it? If, they, if they're investigating an activity that's causing illegal filling in a wetland area, we can issue an order to halt the activity until they solve the problem. And what happens? And, they, and, and, and what about to, correcting the problem? Correct that, the problem Susan, yes. what about the problem, correcting the problem that, that already existed as a result of the violation? Yeah. Would, 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 the, would the city be empowered to, uh, to take that stand down? We would have to we would have to figure out whether taking it out would cause more harm than good. But we have definitely we have definitely on many occasions required people to take things out of the water to remove the fill that was placed in the water. And also, you know, that's that chance, that's 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 a lot, and a lot of people get very mad at us for doing it. That channel yeah. fills up. Yeah. There's no, there's no uh, movement of water, and there's yeah. no cleansing of the uh, of that whole area. Yeah. Yeah. That would be a, that would be an environmental disaster. Yeah, no, we do not want filling, and that is not that's not what is contemplated with this project. And we would certainly work to make sure that that does not happen. Well, think also with what's happening now in terms of uh, all flowing in the sand. Once we have that, I don't. I mean. Off the top of my head, I don't foresee having something parked there when this goes into construction. Having to have something parked there for the full time to cool it. Like right now, the sand is the biggest thing in terms of where you have to have something parked there in order to get the sand onto the island. But once it gets under current construction, that's the that's really the major part of moving materials on and off the island. Um, so I don't foresee something like where we have sandbags, reservoirs that are parked there for I don't know how long that project went on. Um, I think this is a little bit different when we go into the next phase. I don't think we'll have that same issue. Are you going to have barges there to bring in these 2,000 pound shore stabilization rocks as well? And they're going to they're going to creep their way around the island, correct? Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know whether we're just going to have one. Can I ask a question? Uh, what, was the, what was the agency that's responsible for maintaining the depth of the water? And how much sand comes up, and, and all this around around the uh, water. Which agency is responsible for measuring the depth of the water around the White Island as this project is progressing? There are a number of agencies that have jurisdiction over marine resources and boating regulations and things like that. I'm not certain that there is an agency responsible for maintaining. Water depth. This is not a federal navigation channel, so the federal government wouldn't be involved. I don't, you know, I think, you know, this is, this is, I'm not sure that there is an agency that is responsible for maintaining that. I think the closest would be DEC and its, its jurisdiction, its authority to, to protect marine resources. Josh, I'm going to say, like, Suzanne, is it possible? We need a, a benchmark. 
would be very helpful if we knew what the level was now, so that six months from now it uh, deteriorates. We would know that also. Is there any way of, of figuring out what it is now? Have, have it, uh, We've done bathymetry around the island, so that's measuring soundings across the entire island where we have topography shown so you of know the, the existing depth conditions right now. Yes. Okay. But just keep in mind that that will change with storm events. As sand moves, it comes in with, with tidal action, that's that changes. Natural, that's natural uh, events. Right. So you want to then, you, I could see working around our activities out there, but then you have to decipher between.